ordered on my Facebook page and just anytime on QVC.com prior to the show. And we're talking about a book called The Perfect Portion. There are 150 recipes inside. Every one of the recipes is perfectly portioned into 100 calorie increments. The book also teaches you about how calories uh, can help you on your journey to be a better you. You'll also learn how to build meals that are within your calorie count. And we're going to welcome in two familiar faces and two folks that are really going to be a big help in helping you better understand the perfect portion. The first you knew and loved from Happy Days and his many other television appearances, Anson Williams is here. Welcome back, sir. Yeah. Nice Thank to see nice you. Nice to see you too. And Bob Warden partnered with you on this great project. Yes. Good to have you both Wonderful here. Wonderful project. Yes. Had so much this fun. is amazing. And we want to let everybody know right from the jump this is not diet food. No, this no. This is comfort food. This is comfort food. This is not dieting, this is dining. It's eating what, <laughs> no, it's eating what you absolutely love. And never overeating. But, but understanding how to portion. And exactly. this was all born out of an observation you made in the grocery store one day. It was. I mean, I, you know, I wasn't in the greatest shape. And I'm thinking, well, you know, I need I, a portion control. But I'm not a physicist trying to figure out these calorie sure, counts. Sure, sure, sure. And in the grocery store, I saw all the 100-calorie snacks, all the 100-calorie packs. And they were all processed foods, weren't but they? But they were all processed. But everyone understood 100-calorie. And I thought, what if we can take our favorite comfort foods, make them yummy as can be, great, great ingredients, with perfect 100 calorie count, uh, portions. How easy it can be. So you worked with be? Bob and a yes. nutritionist who were able to really bring this whole concept together. And I think it's probably best illustrated here on this dinner plate. We'll take a look at this David sized dinner plate. Okay? Yes. This is a portion I would be very happy to eat and feel very satisfied when I was done. Talk to me about the calorie count here and break it down for me. Okay, so we wanted everything broken down to 100 calories. So two meatballs and the sauce is 100 calories. So 100, 200, 300. The spaghetti's. To cup for another 100, and this whole salad is 100. So you build a 500 calorie meal. So you're telling me I can have this whole dinner plate of spaghetti, meatballs, and a salad with blue cheese and pears, it looks like. Yes. And a sweet onion and nuts for 500 calories. Right. Exactly. So we always show you exactly how many calories, whether it's each or broken down into sections. Now, every recipe will come along with a diagram. Now, this is the recipe for your lemon squares or right. lemon bars. You'll notice that the entire Thing is broken down with this diagram. So e each one of those squares is 100 calories. You'll know because if you make it exactly to the recipe, the entire recipe is a set number of calories. And if you break it up by those numbers of squares, each one is 100. And if exactly. It's a, if it's a cup, it's a cup. If it's an each, it's an each. It's a number. Everything is broken down. If it's a pie shaped paste like a pizza, then we break it down. You know exactly what size pizza Speaking you can have. Speaking of pizza, take a look here. Now, this yeah. is, is a loaded pizza. We've got turkey pepperoni on here. We also have olives and mushrooms. How, mu how many calories are these two pieces? Exactly 100 calories. Exactly For two. 100. For two, For two pieces. Two. Yes, that whole plate is 100 calories. So if I know, if I'm keeping count of my calories and I know that my dinner can be 500 calories, I'm looking at having two, four, five pieces of pizza. Yes. That's crazy. Yes, because yes. we use flatbread pizza. You can buy it in the in the store already made, and then we just put wonderful vegetables on there and some turkey pepperoni, and you've got 100 calories for a half to a little wedge here is two of them for 100 That's calories. crazy. Now, I need to let you know, $19.96, 1,800 books sold in this show, 1,200 before we ever started the show. Yeah. This is really beginning to move along. Everyone's understanding. And let me come over and show you the inside of the book. And then, guys, uh, let me know where you want to go next. Okay. But this is extraordinary. First of all, over 100 full-page color photos in this book. You'll also notice that every single recipe has the 100 calorie breakdown. So you're able to measure and understand exactly what it is you're eating, how much you're eating, how much you can eat, and still stay within your portion control. You bet. Now, this book by itself is not a weight loss tool. By this book by itself is going to get you uh, thinking better about portions, but obviously combine this with regular exercise, low fat, low calorie eating, you're going to begin to see your weight loss goals. But this, uh, so much uh, of what everyone will tell you about meaningful weight loss is portion control. Yes. Yes. But it's also important to eat what you love. You know, you, I hate these uh, these uh, different. Diet books. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, these these different plans out there where it tastes like cardboard. Wait, wait. Look at this. This is an open faced tuna melt. One half of that melt is 100 calories. So you're telling me I can have both halves and I've only eaten 200 calories? Correct. Yes. 
That's amazing. Now, you'll also notice that all the recipe fits on one page. Now, you may be wondering, okay, David, well, I can have the whole open faced tuna melt, but what's in it? Let me read you what's in it. All right, lightened mayonnaise, which is fine. A lot of people eat that in place of a whole mayonnaise. Minced yellow onion, whole grain mustard, parsley, lemon juice, salt, pepper, um, light tuna, uh, wheat bread, to, well, light wheat bread, tomatoes, and you don't even go low fat shredded cheddar cheese in this. No. I get real cheddar cheese yes, in this. Yes, you do. Hallelujah. <laughs> I get real cheddar cheese because in this. Because the taste is important. This is crazy. And you know what? There are so many good recipes in here. Let's take a look at well, a few all right, more. Let's take a, show you what's 100. So here's these beautiful cherry tomatoes right here. Do you see these? You get four of those. And stuffed, they're stuffed with guacamole, stuffed with guacamole and chips. corn chips, right? right. tortilla chips. Four of them for 100 calories, right? You get four shrimp. With the sauce for 100 in the calories. Cocktail, yeah. That's right. You get look at this wonderful. You get the uh, entire uh, chicken and vegetable kebab. For 100, 100 calories. calories. You have two for 200 calories, right? Now, and then if you start to build a meal, here's our breakfast. Each of these French toasts is 100 calories. We did that by using uh, light to uh, whole wheat toast, right? Sure. And then we added two thirds of a cup of berries to that. So and are those berries 100 calories? 100 calories for all of those berries, okay? And that's 100 calories worth of syrup. It's 50 calories. 50 worth calories. Of that's only 50 calories. Right. So Maple I can syrup. double that if I was. Uh, okay. My nutritionist is looking at me, nodding, saying, "Yes, you can. You can have more. 3,500 more." Okay. I need to about ask this? you about oh. meatloaf and mashed potatoes because there's probably oh. a better comfort food. You're about to talk about this, so tell me about that. Oh my gosh. Okay. This plate here, probably the most delicious meatloaf recipe in the world. Oh, we're gonna start with meatloaf. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, so, here, so you have one. So look at this plate. Look how beautiful. You have 100, 200, 200 calories of mac and cheese, 100 calories of string beans, 500 calories for the entire plate. So this is the meatloaf, right? Each half inch piece is 100 calories. Unbelievable. So good. So moist. Full of vegetables. We put a lot of extra vegetables, actually zucchini, into the meatloaf. That is fantastic. Now here's the real test. Let's try the mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. All right. So, talk to me about your mac and cheese. Well, the mac and cheese, you tell us how creamy it is. Okay. So, what we did instead of using cream, all right, we actually used uh, chicken stock and then we used um, cornstarch to make it creamy. Oh, instead of okay. adding heavy cream, and we used a light cream. Isn't that mm. good? So, you can mm -hmm. have all of that. You can have that whole thing on the plate is 200 calories. A third of a cup Wait, is 100 you're calories. You're telling me that this entire dinner plate. Yes. Well, well uh, uh, the green beans would add some calories. So what are we talking about here? You're talking about Five. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. The whole plate is 500 this calories. This whole plate of food is only 500 calories. That's crazy. $19.96. 4,000 books are gone now. I only have about 4,000 books left to go around. Real quickly before we run out of time, I want to remind you, every single recipe comes with its portion. Every recipe comes along with its diagram. You're going to understand and realize that by counting calories and controlling your portions, you begin to see uh, meaningful uh, progress on your journey. Oven fried chicken, everything is comfort food, and the book lies flat on your countertop. Gentlemen, this is amazing. Thank you so thank much. Thank you Great so to much, have David. you here. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Stay on the line for the perfect portion. This book will ship out on the 23rd of February. Absolutely. Could not recommend the food more wholeheartedly, and the concept is simple to understand. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And sir. All right, let's check in with our Mary, who's got another little update for us, and we're going to get ready for the last 45 minutes of In the Kitchen. Thank you so much.